What BuzzFeed has done is this approach of we're not tied to any one form, so why not see what works and what doesn't? Um, going back to the example of the times Jonah has spoken in public about, no one in the history of reading the New York Times has probably ever then sat down and wrote a letter to the New York Times that says, well, first I looked on page A1 and I read the headlines and I finished one story. Then I flipped to the sports section. Then after sports, I looked at weather. And then it was Sunday, so I did the crossword puzzle. And then I wanted to look at Sunday style. No one, the, the Times is not getting that data from the people who are reading their newspapers. Granted, yes, they get it online, and I love the Times. I subscribe to them digitally, and they're doing amazing work. But they still have this whole part of their business where they're missing out on a lot of really important context and learning of how their audience is actually interacting with that. Um, BuzzFeed has not historically had that. It's going to be very different for us when we do something like a show on Lifetime to actually branch into that legacy media and see do we lose any part of our learnings? How does that feel for us?